Um, yeah. Speaking of a Pittsburgh Steelers game that you had just mentioned, as far as maybe the game that Travis White could come back in, somebody that will not be in that game more than likely, T.J. Watt. Awful injury yesterday for anybody yeah. who roots for the Steelers. Your initial assessment on that, and is that definitely an injury that keeps him out for the Bills game in a couple weeks? Absolutely. So he tore his pec. Um, I know they're, they're working on the MRIs, but they, you know, he said, ah, I tore my pec when he came off the field. Um, here's the caveat. It could be, it could be a Milano situation where it's like not totally torn. It's like a grade two. So it's like, you know, a big chunk of the muscle comes off, but it's still attached to the bone and they, and they don't do the surgery. If that's the case, you're still going to miss like four to six weeks. If it's totally torn, he's got to get surgery. That's basically a season ender. However, it's so early in the year. If you remember when we played Houston in the playoffs, his brother had a pec tear, had the surgery earlier in the year. It was almost four months off, you know, three and change. And he, he came back early, but he was still a difference maker in that game. So um, it's either he has surgery, he'll be available at the very end of the year. That's something you only push if you're in the playoffs. If they're out of the picture, he's shutting it down. Um, but there is – there is a slim chance that the MRI shows it's not totally off the bone and it's something that's going to need like, you know, four to six weeks, six weeks if they want to be conservative. The thigh so saw, saw the same thing with Milano where we thought, yeah, you true. know, it, I think that was the Raiders game, the same game, like Allen got the AC joint that he like went out for a tackle, got the arm pulled back. We thought the pec was torn. Worst case scenario, he was gone, but then they found out, Hey, you actually don't need the surgery. But if you remember, they, I think they brought him back a little too early. Then they shut him back down for multiple weeks. So um, the pec's a huge muscle. I mean, you know, he's, he's not coming back for the Bills game, if that's, like, the main question you're asking, though. Well, I think it's all anybody cares about in here. I know that. Yeah, he was but, reckoning, but, but, reckoning but, yesterday. Yeah, and Najee Harris also had a serious injury. He that's had true. what they're reporting is the high ankle sprain. So, again, that's something that takes four to six weeks. Definitely can bother you for the whole season if you don't get it right, uh, you know, a lot of guys end up having to get the surgery. You know what I mean? So that was like I mean, Zach Moss actually broke a bone when he did his, but he had to get the surgery. Um, Michael Thomas had the surgery and then still had complications, took took an extra year to come back. We saw how Zach Moss even struggled the year before. High ankles suck. So, yeah, um, you know, I don't uh, – I wouldn't say Najee Harris is going to be out for that game, but he'll just be scratching the surface, you know, week five. So that's another, uh, you know. Feather under the cap for the Bills for Steelers.